I'll leave you in the capable hands of Robert talking about pies and grains. So, as you'll see again, this quite seriously is a viable development environment that we're really going to talk about. Uh, which is basically having fun with artificial neural networks um, in APL. And has anyone here used a neural network? I think, I think you'll change your minds in a couple of minutes. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll see everyone's head going up. In terms of companies, um, Google and Facebook and Netflix and Baidu and the place we dare not name near Cheltenham uh, and all the UK banks and Amazon, which I forgot to put on this list, um, they all routinely use neural networks. Thank you, Super, thank you very much. They all use neural networks, and if you've ever used Google Street View, um, then the thing that blurs out the number plates and the faces is a neural network by Google, which they um, have open source the code of. So neural networks are everywhere. And there are actually a lot of open source neural network simulators which you can use to build your own. Um, and almost all of them are written in Python, which is a bit sad. Uh, see why it's a bit sad. Um, if you take a look at the neurons which make up the neural network, the neural network is simply something made up of layers, and each layer is made up of individual neurons which are connected together. And generally speaking, all the neurons do is they take a set of inputs, they multiply them by weights, they add them up, and they apply some function to that to produce an output. And uh, almost all, as I said, use Python quite often with C++ under the hoods for performance. Um, and if you take a look, here's a little bit of test code. Uh, you can't quite see because GoToMeeting is obscuring the top of mine. Uh, can I click on hide? Yeah. Will that hide it? Just guess. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so now I've got other stuff in the way. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Ah, it's gone. Brilliant. So. Uh, in Python, I'm going to do some random number stuff, I'm going to do some math stuff, because I have to define how to create a random vector and how to create a random vector of vectors. I haven't got the dot products, so I have to write one of those. Um, and uh, then this is actually the important bit. That's the bit which works out quite a commonly used function in your network. And I actually find my neuron down there, and at the bottom of that start to have something halfway sensible. I create a matrix, 3 by 4 matrix of random numbers. I create a vector of four random numbers. Uh, and print, I have to say print. Print the result that I get when I apply that neuron you know, to those random numbers. Or, of course, <laughs> and unless I'm on time and materials, in which case obviously the earlier version is better. That's going to be the one that I choose. Um, and um, recently launched, uh, the wonderful guys that produced the Raspberry Pi uh, have made another quarter of a million of these. Um, this is a four pound computer and you need to get some extra stuff because it's going to work better with a power supply. <laughs> um, but by the time you spent about 20 pounds, you've got something which will plug into an HDMI monitor and will give you a workspace of 500 meg and quite reasonable performance in terms of uh, computing. And you can do real neural network stuff. Where did you get Dolo? Dolo. It's free. The Raspberry Pi. It's free. 
Uh, and if you want to find out more, uh, I'm currently blogging about doing neural networks in APL. Uh, and you'll find it a bit tedious because I'm trying to teach people APL at the same time. You already know it. Uh, the neural network stuff, uh, I've got about two or three up now. I've got about 20 blog posts uh, done, which at the end we should give you all you need to know to do some quite serious work. Um, the other thing worth mentioning is that in both the APL room, which Stephen mentioned earlier, and on GitHub, and in this blog, uh, I'm planning on starting next week uh, some work on a clone of one of those simulators in APR. I think it's going to take a few weeks to do, but not much longer than that, which will be open source. And I'm busily encouraging as many of you to join in as you can, uh, partly because my APR is pretty rusty. Uh, I, uh, I almost stopped in about 1992, so I regard uh, nested arrays as a dangerous innovation. Uh, and uh, I therefore need all the help. But, yeah, Deacons are fine because I fell in love with those when Ken Iverson first um, suggested them a uh, very long while ago. But uh, all the other stuff is still a bit new and I'm finding my feet. So, anyhow, that's it. If you want to have a look at APL running on a slightly bigger Pi uh, with a nearly one gigabyte workspace uh, on a 35 cloud computer with quad cores, all of which APL can use, uh, then uh, I've got it to have over there, come over and run the break. So that's part of it. And to my delight, uh, a few bits of APL will automatically use those cores when it executes statements without me having to do anything. So I can dramatically speed up. The market trading is invented in the interpreter. Yes. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, only some things will do that, yeah. but some is, is, is good enough. Yeah, of course, things I'm, well, I'm busily feeding example code to uh, all my friends at Dialog, but I'm hoping to add more and more of those. Uh, I'm going to get speeded up. Not for my sake, but because there are a lot of people searching in these areas. And if we can give them uh, an, an <coughs> way of doing things uh, quickly, that is clear and good. You, you can never, I mean, you have 350 quid, you can have a set of 10 networked pies. We've now got 40, 40 cores and um, 20 gig of memory to play with. Jesus.